Hey all, it's Abby, and today I went to the biggest gacha store in Japan, the world. Apparently, the gacha store here in Sunshine City in Ikebukuro has 3,000 gacha machines. And I think they have one in Osaka too, I haven't been to that one, it was my first time coming here. As you can see, it is crazy. And I did my usual gacha hunt, and we're gonna go ahead and start opening everything. Here are all the capsules I got, plus a few extras. We're gonna go through them like we always do and see what fun stuff I got. Let's start with this little guy. I've been seeing this one around for a while and have been very tempted. I took this opportunity at the humongous gotcha store to get gotchas that maybe I normally wouldn't get. We all love a cute animal gotcha though. This is Skarekita Ahiru Mascot Figure, a exhausted goose. Here are the different poses. They're all really cute actually. And here's the one I got. Oh, he's so tired. Look at that. <laughs> Tired little goose. Looks like he might be sleeping standing up. Sets like these always make me want the whole set. Cause imagine five tired looking ge geese, gooses, geese. <laughs> English hard. Here is the next one. And like I said, I tried to stray away from my usual kawaii anime Disney theme and ended up with this. I do think I ended up with a cute one from the series though. I did peek because, you know, you can kind of see through the capsule. This set is... Peace Dobutsu. Animals doing the peace sign. Pretty straightforward. There's a frog, a shiba, cat. Actually, the cat's really cute. Gorilla and bunny. And I ended up with the shiba. Here's the little cutie. The little shiba inu doing the peace sign. Oh, and can we please mourn my chipped nail? It's about time I got him changed though, but I was very sad to see that. Anyway, this is the little cute doggy. I kind of wish we'd gotten the, the, I was gonna say bunny, but I meant cat. I wish we'd gotten the cat doing the peace sign too, because they would have looked cute together. Another kind of random one, but I was there with my friend and she got one, so I thought, why not? And I ended up grabbing one too. Let's see which one I got. Here we go. Oh, it's a little piggy. <laughs> He's mooning. I don't remember what the whole lineup was. Obviously there's a little piggy. It says Buta-chan. And then there's Ahiru-chan, little duck or goose. Usagi-chan, Neko-chan, and Wonchan. It's like the cartoon versions of the animals doing peace signs. Except it's not a gorilla and frog. Probably not one that I would pick myself. Unless I was looking for like weird or funny gotchas. I don't know, what do you guys think? Would you grab this gotcha or nah? Here's one that I was really excited to find. I'm kind of sad that I didn't have more coins on me because I would have loved to get more of these, but I ended up getting one. You can kind of see who's in there already. Are all of you still on that Fall Guys grind? I kind of fell off the wagon uh, last season. I got some of the Miku skins and then kind of stopped playing, but I think a new season's starting, right? Might have to check it out. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize that the figures opened. There's a little egg inside! What? It's like a little capsule. The figure is actually very nice quality. It's matte, it's not shiny or glossy, and there's a hole in the top and the bottom. I don't know if the figures are connectable. Are they supposed to be beads? Are there stands? I, I don't know. Here, can I, I can put the egg, I can put the egg on his thumb. But figure wise, it's really well made. I think it was a 400 yen gacha? I'll have to check again, but I would definitely like more of these. Also, this is crazy because the lineup, there's like 14 different ones. I think there's like variants with, with a crown and no crown, so like 14, uh, 7 designs? 
doesn't really give you much information, but yeah, that was the one I got. Here is a fun gacha. You guys may have seen the tea juice carton gachas, I guess is what they're called, that I opened in my Magical Blind Box series, which is a similar series, but I opened blind boxes and gachas, some gachas, just random things, and um, I had some tea ones. But this one is an actual milk carton. And that's an actual brand that they sell here. I always think that's really cool when they make real foods into miniatures. I think that's why I like the mini brand stuff. Here's the lineup. Coffee milk, and then different brands of milk, and then the little cartons. Tokuno, coffee milk, and this is a calcium and iron dairy drink. This one's not an actual milk. So fun fact, I don't know if it's true for these gotchas, I'm gonna guess not. But when you're buying milk cartons, or milk in Japan, they come in milk cartons. We don't have like the plastic jugs like in the States. I don't know how you get them in other countries. But um, in Japan, when you're buying a milk carton of milk, um, if you want real milk that has not been, I don't know, it, there's like different types of milk. But if you want like whole milk or like milk, there's going to be a little dip on the top here. So when you feel it, and that's how you know if it's real milk or not, not some type of like iron calcium drink. This is another gacha that I found. I think this one, the capsule, is actually part of the toy. The capsule feels very flimsy. It's like a thin plastic. Is this a hippo? So they're like little space or astronaut animals. They're called living in a capsule. Kapuseru burashi. And, oh look at it, it's quite a large lineup. There's a wolf, sheep, elephant, hippo, nu, and human. Ooh, I don't, I don't like that human one. Honestly, I would just kind of want the wolf or the sheep, I think. I actually think it'll be better to put the legs on first. I don't know if they need to face a certain direction. They look like those little fake plastic noses. Okay, our hippo has legs. Actually, maybe the legs do go on the outside, which makes this a little bit harder to put together, but I think we can figure it out. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do this off camera. This is kind of finicky. Here's hippo friend. I don't know, it's a cute idea, but mm, not my favorite design. I would have preferred the wolf or the sheep. Also, it's really hard to get the legs on and then the capsule on. Took me forever, but I got it and it looks okay. I think it stands up on its own. A little hippo in a capsule. Next is a remake of a very popular series and this came out years ago, but it is back because I remember I had so many friends asking me to pick these up when they came out and they may be familiar to some of you. Do any of you remember Banana Birds? Little banana birds. Oh, this is a chocolate banana bird. I actually don't think I have any of these in my collection Because they were so popular and I think I gave them all away chocolate banana bird. I have a second one here. Oh We have a Cockatiel banana bird. I love the little baby banana birds, too. They're so cute Banana bird banana bird this design is genius, honestly. Here are two that I have never seen before. I was really excited to find these because you don't really see much Animal Crossing stuff anymore and apparently these are little water globe domes. And I haven't taken a close look at the designs, so let's check them out, maybe put some water in them? I think this part comes off and then it sits on here. That's cute! Can you see the design? It's my favorite bow! Bow and Sky are my absolute favorites. I think there are four designs and they're supposed to be seasonal. Look at there's glitter in here too. So I'm gonna assume this comes off. Oh yeah, and you just pour some water in there. And hopefully it will stay sealed. Let's look at the other design first. Let's see if I can open this up. I 
thankfully we got two different ones. Looks like this is winter. Oh, even the glitter in it's different. That's cool. Oh, the base is a different color too. That's cute. Unfortunately, it doesn't really lock on to the base. That would be nice, but it just kind of sits. I guess that's so you could empty it out if you want to, but I wish it locked in a bit more. Oh, there's six different designs. Spring, summer, fall, winter, airport, and island life. Oh, I wonder if mine's island life, maybe not seasonal. I thought this was a really fun find. I kind of regret not getting more of them. The remaining ones, I don't have footage of me getting them, but you guys have probably seen these before in a past gotcha hunt where I got a little mochi dog. And there's a little green melon soda. I think it was a dog too. And it's so cute. So when I saw this machine again, I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll try my luck. And I grabbed two. Here's the first one. It is little biscuit bunny. I love the food and animal combo. Here's little bunny on a it just says Usand, Usa, Usa Sand, like a sandwich. Has the same biscuit on top. There's little holes for her ears. His ears, I don't know. So it does come off, but you can have a little bunny sandwich. It's like a s'more. Just needs a little bit of chocolate. Here is the second one. Oh, I don't think I got enough tape off. Let's see if I can just hulk my way through this. Her! Not ideal. I think I got the kiwi jelly, not the melon soda dog. The packaging for this one is super cute. It's a little jelly cup. It says gold kiwi, which is a fruit, of course. And then you have a kiwi, which I guess just sits on top of it, maybe? I don't think it goes into the jelly cup. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, I don't know if he just goes with the cup or if he sits on the cup, but that's what that looks like. Let's take a peek at the lineup. So we have the gold kiwi jelly. We don't have the melon kuri inu dog soda or the mascarpone steam bun. We have the bunny, the kiwi, and the kashiba mochi. Shiba mochi, so we're missing two. At this point though, when you have over half, I don't know, is it worth it to try getting it through a gacha? Or should I just go look on Mercari maybe? Cause the melon soda dog is so cute. Speaking of Mercari, here's one that I got off Mercari. Actually, I have two, but here's the first one. It's Bond! Do you guys remember the Anya and Yoru figures I got from the Gacha Hunt? And I was saying that I really wanted Bond. Well, it was half the set and they were better quality than I thought, so... I went ahead and ordered Bond and Lloyd, which I'll pull out in a second. Let me make sure I'm not dropping any pieces this time. Look at him, he's jumping. I love Bond. My absolute favorite. He looks like he's pouncing. So cute. And here we have Twilight or Tasogare. I already put Anya and Yoru away, so I'm gonna have to go find them and we can line them up. But here's Lloyd, all the pieces are there. Such a well-made figure. I love it. The concept of these figures is pyongkore, so they're all supposed to kind of be in action and like jumping. Here's Lloyd. I think it'll look better standing up because it's kind of like falling with gravity right now. Here's little Bond. Actually, Bond is not little. Bond is a big dog. They're so cute. I will definitely post a picture with Anya and Yoru and all of them together. Here's one that I'm really excited about. I got this at Sanrio Puro Land and it was an 800 yen gacha. It was very expensive. So I only got one. And they had a few different, they had two different ones based off the rides at Puro Land, which is adorable. And ugh, this tape does not want to come off. And my nail does not like this at all. I feel like my nails are so used to being reinforced by the gel now that they're very weak and thin. This one, was based on the, I think it's the boat ride one, yeah. And I got the one I wanted. I got really, really lucky because there was quite a variety, but I got Wish Me Mel, my absolute favorite. And this is the little 
Hello Kitty boat ride that they have at Pure Land. Oh, actually, maybe it was just one gotcha. I saw this and I thought it was two different types, but it looks like it's Kuromi and My Melody in the My Melody ride, and then Cinema Roll, Wish Me Mel, and Hello Kitty in the boat ride. Here's the boat. It's a little miniature replica of the actual ride. Little tiny pieces. Let me get them all out. Let's see if I can figure this out. First we have Batsumaru. Next is Hello Kitty. And then little My Melody. There they are. And then the little swan. It's gonna go on front here. And then I guess Wish Me Mel just sits on here. There's no little peg or anything. But that is adorable! I love her, she's so cute! So yeah, this was a pricey one, but exclusive and... I don't know. I mean, I got the one I wanted, so kind of worth it. I probably would have been happy with any of them except for maybe Hello Kitty, so... I don't know, what do you guys think? Worth 800 yen or not? Last three, you guys might be able to tell, these are from Tokyo Disney. This whole gacha hunt and haul, like the Sanrio Pure Land stuff and... The ones I don't have footage from are from like a uh, Tokyo trip that I went on last month. And yeah, I'm trying to get through everything. Oh look, it's a hidden Mickey. So yeah, I went to Tokyo Disney with my friend too, of course. And they had some new food gotchas out. And I don't know if any of you remember the older ones, but there have been some really cute ones and I had to get the new ones. This is not a full set, I'm missing one, but it was one that I didn't really care for. So I got really lucky and got the ones I wanted, like three in a row. These were 500 yen each. Everything's getting a little bit more expensive. These are nice because they're little screw top ones. You can use them for like ornaments or something. So this is one of the souvenirs you can buy at Disney. It's a box of waffle shaped, Mickey waffle shaped slash flavored cookies. And they're okay, they're just like sugary cookies. Maybe a little maple flavored, but they look like this. But the Mickey waffles, the actual waffles at Disney are so good. But yeah, this is a replica of the cookies that they sell. Let's open the second one. Let's see, what other designs did they have? I don't even remember. Oh wait, I got a double, Never mind. I thought I got the three that I wanted. Okay, so here is a chocolate crunch and a tomato can. How did I make that mistake? I thought I got three. What? I guess I just saw it wrong. Well, let's look at this one. I'm not gonna open the doubles because I can trade them. This one is definitely the tomato soup can. Huh, I'm, I'm baffled. I thought I had a set of three. I don't know how I made that mistake, but here is the tomato soup can. And they sell this, it's a big can, and it has, um, oh, tomato snacks, not soup, sorry. They're like, mm, like the deep fried pasta snacks, but they're tomato flavored. They're actually really tasty. And the can is a really nice souvenir. It looks like it would be in like a kitchen or something, you know? So I guess today I got these two from Disney. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to see if I can trade someone for the little crunch container. I have an extra one of these now. Yeah, that was my gacha hunt at the biggest gacha store in Japan. If you have any requests for future gacha hunt videos, please let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you all next time. Bye!